Quite often when you've got a lot of data, you want to just look at certain parts of it. See, we've got a lot of information here. What happens if we only want to look at the people who live in Durham? Or we only want to look at the people who are male or female? Well, we can do that using, thing, using a, a tool called filtering. Works on lists. So again, you've got to make sure you've got a continuous list. And again, you don't need to select the whole thing. As long as you've got somewhere clicked on there, not more than one cell, a single cell. And then we do data and drop down to filter. And then we've got two options. We've either got auto filter or advanced filter. We're going to look at the advanced filter in the next video. So for this video, we'll just look at the auto filter. So I'll click there. And what has happened is it's picked up the data range and it's also picked up the headings that we've got and put a little drop down arrow next to each one. We can switch this feature off. It's like a toggle switch there, so just data, filter, and you can see we've got a tick next to it, that means the filter's on. Click it again, and the filter disappears. So that's data, filter, auto filter. Switches it on and off. Once we've got the filter on, we can use it to uh, filter our data. For example, if we look at surname, if I click on the drop down, it brings up a list of all the people's names. So if I just want to find King, I can click there and it filters down for just King. To show all the data again, I click the drop down list. You might not be able to see this, but that's actually blue, that arrow now. The rest are black. That helps you identify where the filter is. Because I might be filtering for females or Washington. But no, I can see that's blue, so I'm filtering for surname. So click the drop down arrow, scroll back to the top and show all. Let's have a look at that again. We'll look at age this time. Click on the drop down. I can pick a certain age, but I can also from here sort and I can show the top 10. We'll show the top 10 items. I could choose bottom. I can change the number. Let's change that to five and leave it as items. I show me just the oldest five people. Show all. Let's find all the people in Durham. So click the drop down list, choose Durham. Once you've filtered down for that, you can add more filters to the other columns. So let's find all the males who live in Durham. So I'll click on the drop down for sex, choose M for male, and there are all the males that live in Durham. I can keep going. I can choose for the age top 10 and choose the top three people so well there aren't three because the top three works on the top three of the whole list so there's nobody who lives in Durham that's male that is amongst the three oldest people if I click down the drop down list for age again and choose top 10 if I change that this time to percentage see if there's anybody in the top three percent of the oldest people Two men there in the top 3%. So basically, I'm just clicking on the drop down arrow, choosing an item or top, and filtering based on that selection. I'll just put all these back to all. We've got all our data again. All my arrows black. There's one more thing we can do this, and it's a custom filter. If I look at age, for example, and click on the drop down filter and then choose custom, this allows me to do sort of calculations almost. For example, rather than just an age that equals one that's in the list, I can say find everybody who is older than, greater than, and I can choose an item from this list, but I can also type numbers in. So I could say everybody who's older than 27, for example, I could type that number in or everybody who's older than. Um, let's, let's try that. Everybody who's older than 27. So I can type 
an item in there or I can click on the drop down. That's showing me everybody who's over 27. Click the drop down again, custom. Uh, let's this time choose everybody who's um, less than 27 and OK. And this time there's only one person who is less than 27. Now this can be combined. So I'll just show all. So for example, we could look at everybody who lives in Durham, who is male, and whose age, and then we can use custom, is greater than or equal to 36, and then OK. And that's showing me all the men who live in Durham who are older than or equal to 36. What we can also do on custom is have an extra layer down here. And we can choose and or or. So I want people who are older than 36 and, or, or I should say, um, less than 30. So I can pick up all the people who are greater than 36 and at the same time show the ones that are less than 30. Now, this thing between and and or, I don't want to go into particularly here, but you do need to be aware. The way I do this is, is read both sentences and think, well, can somebody be older than 36 and less than 30 at the same time? No, they can't. Therefore, I've got to use an or to find that out. Click on OK. And there we are. Older than 36. And there's one there. It's less than 36. So that's automatic filtering, and we can switch it on and off using data, filter, and there's the auto filter menu option.